Today, living in debt has become a way of life. Americans finance their homes, their cars, their education, their clothes, and even their food. The Word of God tells us in Proverbs 22, 7 that the rich rule over the poor and a borrower is a slave to the lender. Most families live under this never-ending stress of financial slavery with no hope of ever getting free. Gary and Trenda Cassie know what it's like to be hopelessly in debt. For nine years, they lived a hand-to-mouth existence, enduring the constant stress of overdue and canceled credit cards, judgments, and liens. While on antidepressants due to the stress, Gary cried out to God for help. The Cassis began to find answers in God's Word that literally changed their lives. Today, debt-free, they are on a mission to help others fix their money thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. We're Gary and Drenda Cassie, and we're so glad you joined us yes. today. You know, as you saw earlier, we went through a lot of financial turmoil. Much of that turmoil could have been avoided if we knew the things that we want to share with you today on the program. You know, we went through a lot of things, didn't we, Gary? Because we, we lack did. of knowledge, people perish. Absolutely. And you're going to share today with us some things that are going to revolutionize your finances. Well, that's the plan. So why don't we get with it here? You know, Drenda, thinking back on those days brings back mixed emotions, you know. It's uh, yeah. a lot of stressful days. It was. Nine years of yes. stress on antidepressants, uh, just living a life of survival. And uh, we were already Christians, but we were missing a lot on how to bring heaven into the earth realm. We knew yes. we were going to heaven, but we needed money here. That seems to be the problem with a lot of people. You know, we know the promises are there yeah. from God's Word, but how we actually get those promises into our that's, life that's it. can be the, the breakdown. That's, that is the breakdown. So that's why we do this program, Drin, is to help people understand what's, what's going on. So I want to read a scripture. Get your Bible out if you want. 3 John verse 2 says this, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. That is the Word of God to you today, that it is your your you know, your uh, future, God's intent, His will for your life is that you prosper. And prosper is above everything. Dorinda, he says, above everything, that you prosper and be in health. Mm -hmm. You know, you can be impoverished and it just, just debilitates your life. It and does. you can be sick and it debilitates it does. your when life. When we were in financial turmoil, that is, it was our everyday thought. You couldn't think about anything else. It's, uh, it consumed me. I, as I was on antidepressants. I mean, Fear, every day. Uh, yes tormented every night trying to figure a way out. And so if you find you're like that today, we have great news. The Bible yes. is true. And we found the answer in the Word of God, began to apply that as you heard in the story and got out of debt. But I want to teach a segment out of 2 Kings chapter 4, Drenda. We're going to find an answer in a story that I think would apply to anyone listening today. And I know it applied to our life on what I would do, what I would need to change with my thinking, how I'd approach the situation. It's right here in the Word of God because we have a woman here in 2 Kings chapter 4. Her husband had died. She's in debt. And now the creditors are coming. She had no money. So they were going to enslave her sons to work off the debt. So that's, that's, that's a pretty That's how debt serious. is. It's slavery. It is slavery. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 says, you know, the, the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender. Mm -hmm. So she found that scripture to be accurate right here. Her sons are now going to be enslaved to pay the debt. So she runs to the prophet Elisha and asked, you know, can you help us? And listen to what he said, because this is vital. Verse number two, he says, how can I help you? How can I help you? What do you have in your house? Now, please catch this, because typically most people would just think, well, help me, give me the money. 
But Elisha said, how can I help you? Meaning that he was going to teach her, but for God to have access into her life to help her, he asked, how can I help you? What is in your house? In other words, what is under your legal jurisdiction that God can interact with to help you? Because he can't counterfeit money. So it was more than just meeting her where she was at. He was actually trying to see where the access was into her life. Right. See, God has to have an access point in someone's life. So Elisha says, great, God wants to help you, but what can he help you through? Where's the, the, the point of agreement? What do you have under your jurisdiction that's legal for God? You're, you're saying, I want God to, to interact with me. Great. What's the point of agreement? Where can God touch you at? Where can you agree with God at? Mm. And so what do you have? And she said, nothing. So obviously she can get the picture. She came to him because she's in debt. So she, in her mind, she doesn't have anything. In fact, the way she answers Elisha, she said, your servant has nothing. I have nothing at all. She makes it, she says it twice like that. I have nothing. I have nothing at all. And that's she what it is point. when you're going through that. You feel like right. you're so focused on the problem. You don't even see any answers. Right. But there is an answer. God is the answer. Yes. But what do you have in your house? So she said, well, I don't have anything except a little bit of oil. So he said, go gather some pots. He gave her specific instructions. Don't ask for a few, he said. And then shut the door and you and your sons begin to pour the oil from the little you have, begin to fill the pots. And amazingly, the oil began to pour, fill the pots. And then they kept bringing pots to her. And when all the jars were full, the Bible says, she said, bring me another one. When she used up all the pots, they're all full, bring me another one. And the Bible then says, then the oil stopped. Now, there's, there's so many things to bring out in this story, but basically, how long would the oil have poured, you think? As long as she had as a vessel. As long as she had <laughs> pots, right. Yes. But she, we call that setting the measure. She set the measure. She kind of set the limit there, not God. And then here's the phrase we're talking about today. The prophet said, go sell the oil and pay your debts. Now, here's the point. Go sell your oil. God has no money, but she needed money, right? Mm -hmm. So... God inter working with her in the earth realm, since she had no money, God has no money. How is he going to create money in her life? Selling. Okay, understand. She, uh, she okay, could interact listen, with. Listen, today, all money is created in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. You may be an employee working a salaried position, but the money they pay you with comes from business. All money is created in business. So, in our story, God gave us a dream to start a business, which then produced money. Okay, so what we're trying to get across today is stop looking for money. Uh, that's an impoverished mindset. Can you help me? That's not going to change your life. If even someone gave you a, a, a nice chunk of cash, it's going to run out. It's not going to change right. your destiny. What you need to do is begin to think, what do I have? Instead of thinking what I don't have, what do I have that God and I together can begin to work through to change my future. Yes. So what do I have that I could work with that would create wealth? We have to think in terms of creating wealth. Chick, uh, you know, Colonel Sanders, he got his first social security check. It was $102. He was 62 years old and he knew, wait a minute, I'm in trouble. So you know what he did? What's in your house? I don't have anything except a chicken recipe. He, he, this is a true story. He, all he had was a recipe for chicken, and he thought, well, I can sell that. And he got the recipe out, and you know the rest of the story. But right. see, he used something very small that seemed insignificant in his situation. It was not a good situation. But what do I, what do I have? What do I have? God will illuminate something you have and give you a plan to operate that That's good. for your future. You think most of us discount the abilities or discount the things we could use. Oh, absolutely. Because you know, he could have looked at it and said, oh, it's just a fried chicken recipe. Because people are looking for money. Instead they're looking, looking for money, not the vessel or the plan. Mm. They're looking, I need money. Right. Miracle money. Yeah, I need miracle money. I need <laughs> money right now, but they don't, they're not putting that together. So when we come back, I want to talk some more about that and help you get a clear understanding of what we're talking about because this is how we got out of debt and it's how God wants to work with you to get out of debt as well. Yes. Here I am in New Albany, Ohio, where I grew up, and right behind me you'll see Eagle's Pizza. This is the business my family owned for 40 years as I grew up. A lot has changed over these 40-some years, but 
not the fact that business is how money is produced. And uh, that's what we're talking about today is where does money come from? It comes from the marketplace. It comes from business. Now, right next door to my dad's pizza shop is my own office building. If you follow me over here for a minute, you know, people ask me all the time how to find money. You know, how can I create wealth? And I'll give you one simple answer, and it's right here. It's business. Here I am standing in front of Ford Financial Group. This is the building that Drenda and I own. It's where our company's located. And it's the idea that God gave me 30 years ago when we were in serious debt. God gave me a dream to start a company to help people get out of debt. Here it is, still 30 years later, Ford Financial Group. That idea got us completely out of debt, built our dream home, changed our entire life. One idea is all you need. One God-inspired idea in business can create the wealth, literally change your entire life. One idea called business. It's time to go sell today on Fixing the Money Thing. Today, from Gary and Drenda Kasi Ministries, two amazing mentorship resources you need to succeed as you fix your money thing. First, for your best ministry gift of only $40 or more, get your financial revolution on six CDs. Gary designed this teaching specifically to help you understand the laws of God's kingdom and how to apply these laws to every facet of your life. Understand, you are a citizen of a kingdom. You have legal rights to use the laws that never change, and they work for anyone that wants to use them. Gary purposely created the Your Financial Revolution resources to give you foundational kingdom training. God is able to create a whole different perspective for your life from the inside out. He's going to give you revelation. He's going to show you how to prosper. You say, well, I wish that could happen for me. Well, it can and it should. Call, write, or visit GaryCasey.com to get your own copy of Your Financial Revolution on six CDs for just $40 or more. As a gift of thanks, Gary would like to send you a Financial Revolution pen and notepad to record your own kingdom revelations when you order. It's fun to talk about the kingdom. Just, it's so cool. Next, Gary wants to offer you his most powerful and effective mentorship package to date. The Total Financial Success Package contains all nine of Gary's financial success teachings on one convenient USB drive, sequenced specifically to help you discover the knowledge and faith in kingdom law you need to unleash God's power and promises in your life. Many have testified that this package is the teaching that revolutionized their lives. Separately, these mentorship resources would be over $280 but you can get all nine teachings on a life-changing USB drive for your ministry gift of only $99 or more. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Write to Faith Life Now, PO Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054, or visit GaryCasey.com to order your financial revolution on six CDs for just $40 or more. To get Gary's top collection of financial resources on a custom-made USB drive that includes your financial revolution, order the Total Financial Success Package now for only $99. Understand this, until you fix the money thing, you will never discover your destiny. You're a slave. God never intended for you to do life alone. Gary is ready and able to mentor you in God's kingdom power to equip you to fix your money thing. Let Gary mentor you through these two amazing life-changing resources. Call, write, or visit GaryCasey.com to start the revolution in your finances and your life now. If I had to make money quickly, how would I do it? I win the lottery. Rob a bank. Sell stuff at the thrift store. Try and get a minimum wage job and work a lot of hours. Find like a payment plan. Put in a lot of time at work. Try to sell my things. Win the lottery would be the easiest way to make money, I suppose, quickly. I guess I would have to borrow in order to pay off everything that I currently own. I don't know another way I would do it. Wow, Gary, I did not expect some of those answers. Why do you think people are looking outside for the answer? I mean, it's the well, lottery or it's, it's some yeah, I, miracle. Now, I expected those answers. 
I knew exactly that most of them would not say, I have a dream to start a business because we have not been trained to think of in terms of entrepreneurship. In fact, our culture is moving more and more towards an entitlement mentality. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have a number here. At the end of two, uh, World War II, Duranda, 25% of the population was self-employed. Guess how much the, the percent now is? Wow, uh, maybe 8%? You're, you're good. Three, three only 3% three? of Americans wow. are self-employed. And of course, when we started wow. the country, you know, there was no, companies here. Everyone so from came World across, War II, yeah. the end of World War II, 25 percent, and now we're down Three. to 3 percent. Right. 3 percent are self-employed. What, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that people have a wrong perspective or an understanding how money is created. See, money, mm -hmm. uh, people say, how, how is money created? First off, as I said earlier, money has on it the United States of America. Okay, so it is, it's printed by the kingdom that printed it. The, the country, the United States, printed the money. If I told you, oh, let me ask you, what is this worth? A dollar. Well, is it? Okay, so <laughs> this is paper. What is it right. worth? What is it worth? What, maybe it's a fraction of a It's worth what the government says it's okay, worth. Okay, <laughs> but, it, but it this, this is worth nothing. This is a piece of paper, right? Uh -huh. It's only worth what it's worth in the marketplace to buy and sell. What someone says they're willing to exchange for the dollar. You follow me? I see. Mm -hmm. So. Money is only created. People say, oh, this is money. This is not money. I mean, it is money, but this is only a piece of paper that validates the value of the currency. Right, so this it's a value not, issue. This is not money. Right. It is money, but it's not. You follow my point? Yes. I mean, this is just a piece of paper. But so when people say, I need money, what they're thinking of is this, mm -hmm. the piece of paper, all mm -hmm. right? And what they need to realize, the piece of paper represents what it does in the marketplace in the exchange or commerce. So it's a, it's a bartering system. It's a bartering system. And so when you need money, what you want is, you want to develop something that brings value to the marketplace so that people will trade with you or an exchange takes place and that creates value. This has no value without the value put on it in the marketplace. So we want to create wealth. Now most people, as we saw, they look for money, as you said. They're looking for this They're instead looking of looking for, for the value. They don't have any, anything of value to exchange. They're wanting someone to give them, you know, um, an entitlement mentality says, you know, you owe me this or the government owes to pay my rent or Uncle Joe has a lot of money. He's going to, most people are going to look, I'm going to find a good job, you know, looking outside of themselves. But where is the Holy Spirit? Inside of us. The Bible says that, you know, the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God is in, in us. You, yes. So where is God at? If I'm going to ask God for money, where is he at? Inside. He, uh, he already dwells within us mm -hmm. and he's going to create ideas because ideas are what pay money in the marketplace. You know, Coca-Cola was an idea. Everything you see on the shelves of a, of a, of a retailer was at one time an idea. Mm -hmm. It then was transferred into a drawing and then produced and then duplicated, right. but it was an idea. Even services. So any kind, anything like that you know, is how it works. Doctors and lawyers exactly. and every, every, all of that is business. Uh, business. Plumbers, they're all, it's a service that bring value to the market. But most people today would say, Gary, business is complicated. I mean, I, I, I can't go into business. I mean, I don't know how to go into business. I mean, I don't have to, well, do you know how to spend money? Do you ever go and buy something? Guess what? You found out how a business works. You found something of value that you said, it's, I want to buy that. And you gave them an exchange. That is what business is. Now, business solves problems. It's very simple. Business is not complicated. You know, if, uh, if you had a Coke stand or a lemonade stand on a hot sunny day and someone says, man, I'm really thirsty. I want to buy that. Guess what? You're in business. You're simply meeting the need of the culture. Whatever can meet the need is a business. And then you can duplicate that and produce business. So in other words, you could learn to do it or a prototype yourself. You do it one-on-one, -on -one, then you train someone else to do it, and they train someone else to do it, and they train someone else to do it. And that's how Subway has 40,000 retail stores across the world. They train someone else how to do it. The first guy learned to do it the first, the first time. Mm. So it's not that complicated. But, you know, when we were in serious debt and we were, gosh, antidepressants, I didn't have any career background really to fall back on. I, I grew up in the pizza business and God gave us a dream. So he, we, we prayed. We, we said, God, help us 
and he gave us a dream to start a business. Mm -hmm. And in that time, it seemed scary. Obviously, was, we didn't know what we were oh, doing. I, I mean, yeah, you, you said you didn't, we didn't have a computer. We, we had, had all the reasons not to go no. into business because we didn't really have the uh, tools of the trade. No tools. We were learning. No knowledge. Uh, you know, our money was pretty tight, but we also had a dream. Almost. We had a dream that we could do yeah, something had, that was valuable. We Plus, had we had an experience desire. with debt, and because of that debt, we didn't want others to go through exactly. that. So we, we felt like, how can we help others not get into debt? How can we help others get out yeah. of debt? Because we've been through that. Right, and so some of the background we had in financial services, I began to play with numbers because our heart for people, they, mm -hmm. we don't want them to go through this. Right. We discovered that in playing with numbers, surprisingly, God gave us this idea that most people, if not about 80%, 85% of the families could be out of debt in five to seven years, including their mortgage without changing their income. Now to us, that was like, you've got to be kidding me. Who's telling people that? I mean, Nobody. everyone thinks you're going to buy a house. How long are you going to pay it for? 30 years. Right. No one, everyone, everyone is leveraging themselves to live in debt. That's because we've been taught on the other side of that dollar. You know, like mm -hmm. you said, we understand business, but we understand it from the side of spending the money, yeah. not from the side of receiving the money. Right. And how do we create it, something of value that exactly. people want to spend their money on? Right. So we, I remember this, I mean, was, we didn't know anything about it, but we had this, we, I got these numbers printed up, you know, and I thought, I'm going to go try this as a business. So I went to, I was selling insurance. Remember that? We were selling insurance. Mm -hmm. So I went to this insurance client and said, what would you think if I told you you could be out of debt in less than seven years? Let me prove it to you. I got all this data and it came out to 6.2 years. His house was paid off everything. They acted like they won the lottery. I remember they're going nuts. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. This is true. Are you sure this is true? And I thought, wait a minute, this could be a really good business. And so we launched our business. In a matter of a couple of years, we were completely debt free, changed our entire life. And in the course of time, our office became the number one office out of 5,000 offices nationwide. We weren't even trying. We were just helping it people us, in business get out of debt. And that's what we want to see. And that's what we want to see in your life. We'll be back in just a minute. Gary and Drenda's closing thoughts after this. Today, from Gary and Drenda Cassie Ministries, two amazing mentorship resources you need to succeed as you fix your money thing. First, for your best ministry gift of only $40 or more, get your financial revolution on six CDs. Gary designed this teaching specifically to help you understand the laws of God's kingdom and how to apply these laws to every facet of your life. Understand, you are a citizen of a kingdom. You have legal rights to use the laws that never change, and they work for anyone that wants to use them. Gary purposely created the Your Financial Revolution resources to give you foundational kingdom training. God is able to create a whole different perspective for your life from the inside out. He's going to give you revelation. He's going to show you how to prosper. You say, well, I wish that could happen for me. Well, it can and it should. Call, write, or visit GaryCassie.com to get your own copy of Your Financial Revolution on six CDs for just $40 or more. As a gift of thanks, Gary would like to send you a Financial Revolution pen and notepad to record your own kingdom revelations when you order. It's fun to talk about the kingdom. It's just, it's so cool. Next, Gary wants to offer you his most powerful and effective mentorship package to date. The Total Financial Success Package contains all nine of Gary's financial success teachings on one convenient USB drive, sequenced specifically to help you discover the knowledge and faith in kingdom law you need to unleash God's power and promises in your life. Many have testified that this package is the teaching that revolutionized their lives. Separately, these mentorship resources would be over $280 but you can get all nine teachings on a life-changing USB drive for your ministry gift of only $99 or more. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054, or visit GaryCassie.com to order your financial revolution on six CDs for just $40 or more. To get Gary's top collection of financial resources on a custom-made USB drive that includes your financial revolution, order the Total Financial Success Package now for only $99. Understand this, until you fix the money thing, you will never discover your destiny. You're a slave. 
God never intended for you to do life alone. Gary is ready and able to mentor you in God's kingdom power to equip you to fix your money thing. Let Gary mentor you through these two amazing life-changing resources. Call, write, or visit GaryCasey.com to start the revolution in your finances and your life now. Just flipping channels, literally came through and, and heard the kingdom like I've never heard the kingdom before. And I called Jessica over, we listened after about two or three months of just really going to God in prayer and just knowing this is truth and it's what God's best for us. We became partners shortly thereafter and been partners ever since. We just took action on, we bought the book, bought the materials, uh, fixing the money thing. Been watching the show, we record it five days a week. <laughs> uh, every On DVR, all day, every day. But uh, we took action on finding money that was lost. Uh, and it took too long, but I'm glad we finally took action on getting a second opinion on our taxes. And we're a small business owner, last seven years. We've been paying and been behind taxes for almost five years, literally. Finally got a second look, found $15,000 because of Gary's instruction. Could I really encourage you to get the resources today? We don't want you to make the mistakes we made. We made them for you, okay? Both of these will help you understand things we've learned 30 years, right, Gary? That's right, absolutely. And also, go to GaryCasey.com, call us, let us hear from you. We look forward to seeing you here next time on Fixing the Money Thing. Fixing the Money Thing is graciously brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to pray with you. Call and let's agree together. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself. Every weekend, Faith Life Church offers four new services with times to meet your schedule. Located on the east side of Columbus, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center and offers something for every age. If you can't make it to a service, join us at faithlifechurch.org for live streaming and access to past services as well. Visit faithlifechurch.org where you can experience love, community, and the good life. Go beyond your limits. Discover real success. Make plans now. The Provision 2017 Entrepreneurs Conference. People tell me it is life-changing and people have told me stories about how they would not miss this conference. I'm looking forward to seeing you at this year's Provision Conference. You have the ability, you have the mind of Christ. You've been made more than an overcomer. But the kingdom of God will not change your life until you change your thoughts, until you allow yourself to dream dreams. A dream is a sneak preview of a coming attraction. What allows us to dream is we are to get a concept as to why we are here. The reason you exist at, in the 21st century is because the Father has need of you right now. That's the decision that is before us today. It all hinges on you saying yes. For registration, go to garycasee.com slash events. Contact Gary, archived Fixing the Money Thing shows, learning resources, and more at GaryCasey.com. Your gifts and partnership make Fixing the Money Thing possible.